when and where does the ketone body formation occur to understand when and where the ketone body formation occurs we need to understand the normal metabolism in the normal metabolism glucose enters into the cell with the help of the hormone insulin through glycolysis it forms pyruvate pyruvate then with the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase complex converts pyruvate into acetyl coenzyme a acetyl coenzyme binds to oxaloacetate to form citrate and the tca cycle is starts so when does ketone body formation occur obviously when there is some change in the normal metabolic pathways will the ketone body's formation occur now that is starvation when you have starvation there is no glucose entering the cell there is no pyruvate being produced so there is no source of acetyl coenzyme in order to meet the requirements of acetyl coenzyme to produce energy through the tca cycle the body switches on to beta oxidation of fatty acids beta oxidation of fatty acids produces acetyl coenzyme and the tca cycle occurs in extreme starvation the beta oxidation of fatty acids is in way too much in excess and lot of acetyl coenzyme is being produced this excess acetyl coenzyme binds to all the oxaloacetates and a situation is reached when there is no oxaloacetate in the cell so that is the stage when the tca cycle comes to stop too much of acetyl coenzyme consuming all the oxaloacetates oxaloacetates have not yet been regenerated so you have a situation where the tca cycle comes to a stop now here we have excess of acetyl coenzyme and this excess of acetyl coenzyme does not have any other further path to go because the tca cycle has been blocked and that is the time ketone body formation occurs the excess of the acetyl coenzyme combine to each other to form acetoacetyl coenzyme which goes on to form hmg coa HMG CoA is broken down to acetoacetate with the help of the enzyme HMG CoA lyase. Acetoacetate is the first ketone body. This acetoacetate has got two form or uh, two pathways. It can either form beta hydroxybutyrate which is the major pathway or it can get spontaneously decarboxylated to produce acetone. So the three ketone bodies are acetone, acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate of which beta hydroxybutyrate is the most abundant ketone bodies to summarize ketone bodies are produced when the tca cycle comes to a grinding halt what are the conditions in which the ketone body formation occurs they could be in extreme starvation called starvation ketosis they could also occur in type 1 diabetes mellitus and that's usually the common presentation of type 1 diabetes mellitus no glucose no pyruvate tca cycle has stopped and ketone bodies are formed rarely in type 2 diabetes which is poorly managed added with a second stress in the form of sepsis or any major surgeries these people can also present with diabetic ketoacidosis though very rare